Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, happy Groundhog Day, everybody. <clears throat> Excuse me, Puxatani Phil. You can see he's pretty excited about Groundhog Day. He ended up seeing his shadow, so according to the Groundhog, we get six more weeks of winter. And it looks like the groundhog's a little bit chilly there, but we appreciate Puxatani Phil helping out here in the weather department. In fact, I think you might actually like the first part of my weekend forecast because it does bring in some colder temperatures, so hopefully he uh, likes the forecast. Although it's not going to be really that winter-like, nothing that unusual for this time of year. No big storms in the forecast, although things do get a bit unsettled as we go into the work week. We'll talk more about that in just a few minutes, and it looks like a super weekend. We keep things dry, so if you're making those last-minute trips, to the grocery store uh, should be pretty good as we head into the weekend. Mostly cloudy skies in Providence right now. We may get a few breaks in the clouds across the south shore, but for the most part, we'll keep it gray today. Temperature is 43 in down city Providence. Those winds are out of the northeast at 10 miles an hour. Wind chill at 37 degrees. Live pinpoint Doppler 12 not picking up on any precipitation. We keep it dry all the way through this evening and uh, tomorrow, although there's a slight chance of maybe a little bit of ocean effect snow activity across eastern Plymouth County, perhaps the Cape, but the rest of us should remain dry. Right now we're 42 in Taunton, 43 New Bedford, 43 Newport Coventry at 42 and Westerly is at 46. So it's right here across the South Shore, maybe a few upper 40s possible, but the rest of us will be stuck in the clouds and temperatures won't move all that much for the rest of the afternoon. So you can see the clouds represented by the white right here. We have showers down to our south. We actually have two things going on. A disturbance in the upper levels is com combining with this disturbance down to our south creating these clouds, but at least we keep most of the precipitation away. And then as we go into tonight, and tomorrow high pressure is going to shove a lot of this moisture out of the way so we'll bring in some sunshine tomorrow although it will be a cooler air mass so temperatures won't move that much compared to what we're going to see for today 45 by one o'clock 43 by three o'clock in the afternoon and 40 by 5 p.m. not all that windy we'll get that consistent breeze out of the north between about a five and twelve miles an hour all the way through this evening so a little bit of a wind chill factor today not too bad 45 Charlestown 46 Wickford 45 in Newport again a little hazy sun is possible here across the south shore but the further north you go, the more clouds that you will see. For Northern Rhode Island, we're talking about temperatures in the low 40s, 42 Burville, 44 Cumberland, 44 in Johnston and Situate gets up to 44 degrees. And for Eastern Massachusetts, a slight chance of some ocean effect snow showers tonight across uh, eastern Plymouth County into the Cape, but even that will be pretty spotty. It may not happen at all. 45 in Taunton, 44 in Fall River. Seekonk gets up to 44 degrees with mostly cloudy skies. Out on the water today, winds fairly light, waves 0 to 1 foot, high tide 321 in the afternoon, low tide already passing it for this morning. Now tonight, it's cold, certainly colder than last night, not, not that unusual for this time of year, 26 in Providence, you can see 23 up in Smithfield, and in that seven day future cast, 41 for Friday, <coughs> excuse me, Saturday starts off chilly, we make it into the upper 30, so a little cooler there, Sunday 41 with partly sunny skies, notice on Monday, Tuesday, even through parts of Wednesday, some extra clouds showing up. Could be a few snow showers, maybe rain showers. Things get a bit unsettled, but we'll keep the precipitation out of the forecast for now. Do not forget about all of our apps, iPhone, your Android phone. You can track the weather as you're out and about this afternoon, but looking pretty good into Super Bowl weekend. All right, Pete, go get a glass of water. I will. I know I'm having some problems this no, new time. That's all right. <laughs> Thanks, Pete. Now here's what we're looking, well, working on for Iowa News beginning live at 5.